Hey there guys, welcome back to Pro Altering Love Straight here from Double Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna link to create a simple user interface, a UI which says the weather, the temperature, the place. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. in Photoshop which is 1000 by 1000 pixels and the resolution I chose a 72 uh, you can choose whatever color you want for the background but you know I just kept this uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the background so let me just go and double click here on the uh, on the color and uh, I'm gonna choose uh, something like a like a like a faded blue color uh, so I need a blue and a faded blue something like that and uh, click on OK and I'm gonna hit Alt Delete on my keyboard, which is gonna fill that up with that color. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and just create the, the cloud. So how do we create the cloud? It's pretty simple. All we gotta do is create a new layer. Let's go and uh, set the foreground color to white. Let's click on the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. And that's gonna give us our brush. So if you just click, it's gonna create something. But we want to go and set the hardness of this to 100. So if you click, it's just a black fat spot. Uh, now you want to make this a little big because of uh, just because of the fact that when you scale it down it doesn't get pixelated and when you scale it up it ends up getting pixelated but obviously you can turn it into a smart object uh, but I anyway, just to be on the safer side I'm gonna make a little pretty big uh, circle so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just click once which is going to create a circle and I'm gonna duplicate it by pressing ctrl J and I'm gonna go and just move this over to the side, uh, something like so. Press Ctrl T on my keyboard and just go hold down Shift and just scale this down a tiny bit, not too much. Uh, then click on OK. Let's press Ctrl J again. And this time let's move it up over here, like so. And uh, press Ctrl J again. And this time move it up over here, press Ctrl T and make this pretty big, you know, like. This kind of is looking like a cloud if you feel so. Um, yeah, so that's that's looking good. And what we're going to do is let's select all of this, press Ctrl E or right click and choose uh, merge layers. Where is, yeah, merge. There'll be an option called merge. Let's like check that. Uh, merge layers. There we go. And that's so this is not yet looking like a cloud. But all we got to do is uh, press P on our keyboard which gets the pen tool. And uh, let's actually go and grab some rulers and we can just place them right over there. Let's zoom in and just close this up, you know, with just create something like this. Press Ctrl Enter, which creates a selection. As you can see, it created a selection around the entire thing. I just want the selection over here. So I'm going to go to uh, Layer and uh, OK, Image, uh, Select and choose Inverse. And then I'm going to go to my Marquee Tool, right click and choose fill with white color. So let's just do the white color. Click on OK and that's gonna fill it up with white color. Press Ctrl D to design. And press Ctrl H to get rid of this. And now we see we have this very strong curvature, uh, this hard line. Pretty simple to get rid of that. All we gotta do is select the rectangular tool and uh, just go ahead and just create, you know, just move your arrow marks plus delete. And that's going to get rid of that. And now we have this very nice clean cloud icon. I'm going to go ahead and just clear, call this cloud. Okay. Uh, this is good. Now we want to go ahead and add a little bit of raindrop. So let's create a new layer. And we're going to go and uh, press, take the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. And let's go and change the size over here. Uh, so we're going to go and change it from 300 to 5. And uh, you see, you know, we just put on the screen, it's small dot. So I'm gonna put it, increase it to, let's say around 10. Uh, let's see how that looks. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna stick with 20. Yeah, I think 20 is the right size. So, right, that's uh, looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into window and I'm gonna choose brush, which is gonna give up my brush settings panel over there. Now I'm gonna go and just increase the spacing up to 1000, which is gonna space up the uh, each dot pretty high. And in the scattering tab, I'm gonna go and change the scatter again to 1000 and also not the count actually let's set the count to probably three pretty a small number so when I draw you see you're gonna get something you know like this it, it's a very random pattern which the brush you know sets so I'm gonna really set that count to one and uh, you know see now that's pretty fine I mean but uh, you know I, I, I kind of want it to be more organic 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and uncheck the shape dynamics, just you know, uncheck everything. And we can close that up and let's control Z and now we can go and as you can see just by placing small dots we can create a good pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna go and just you know start laying down a couple of dots here. So you know just something like that and uh, all right so I'm kind of going from the left to right to make it look you know kind of good and uniform all right so that's four dots so we had three four and this is three dots I'll just a little bit spaced out and probably two dots yeah something like that and probably one maybe over here somewhere yeah that's fine and another one there I mean it's completely up to you how you want it to look that's completely up to you and I'm just gonna go and rain the call this raindrops okay uh, looking fine let me just move it up and down a little bit so you know it's sitting tight and i'm going to select the cloud layer and press ctrl a to select it and i'm going to align it horizontally and vertically and i'm going to do the same thing with the raindrops again perfect so i'm going to take the cloud and then just hold down shift and move it up and the raindrops hold down shift and move it down so you know it, it, it kind of everything is fits into the center perfectly and I'm going to select both the layers press ctrl G to group them press ctrl T to transform and then just shrink them down a little bit so we you know uh, you know we can shrink it down to whatever size you want and uh, on the gradient overlay I'm going to add a couple of colors over here so on the first stop I'm going to go and uh, probably choose uh, you know like a like a pink color okay not too not too dark just uh, you know a light pink color and on the last stop, I'm going to go for a cyan color, uh, bright cyan color. There we go. That's that's looking good. And um, I'm going to also go and uh, let's see what do we do. Um, actually, I'm going to go and change the cyan color to a little bit like a, like a green olive cyan color. And then in the center, I'm going to create another stop and set this to a cyan color. Click on OK and click on OK. And uh, that's that's pretty good. Now all these settings are going to be remaining the same and I'm going to just change the angle so we have it coming from the top left to the bottom right and uh, reduce down the scale to around 4950 and I can just go ahead and click on the canvas and move the gradient which is fine which is really looking nice and I'm just making a little bit of settings to speaking the settings over here to get the exact result that I'm kind of looking for. Uh, right, so just moving up the stops a little bit there and click on OK and move it again slightly to get the desired result that you want and click on OK. OK, close it up. And uh, this way we have, we kind of have this really good looking nice gradient cloud with raindrops and uh, maybe I'm going to add in a little bit of drop shadow. So I'm going to set the opacity to 100 so we can actually see how thick it is. And click on OK and I'm going to go and create a new layer, put it on bottom and uh, fill it up with white color. All right, so I bet okay, and uh, under the drop shadow, now we can actually you know properly define how much drop shadow we want because it's more uh, visible on the white layer. So, probably for the distance five, uh, the spread is zero, and the size probably around 10. Um, it's again up to you, uh, depends on the size of your document, size of your object, how much drop shadow you want. So, I'm gonna probably set the spread to two, five. Um, I really don't know, it's just playing around. And the reason opacity of this too, probably 50%. Um, the angle stays 90, that's fine. And then now I think this is looking pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, you know, that's looking really, you know, real, like kind of realistic. Maybe the drop shadow, I'm gonna reduce that, the, the distance down to three. So we have more subtle effect. Um, actually, let's go and increase down, incre the size up to probably 50, I mean 30%, 30. Uh, which is fine. It kind of fades away, you know, pretty nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna go and choose a rounded rectangle tool to create the box. So let's go and create a box, like so, and I'll just release your cursor. And I was gonna fill it up with white color, but we want to choose a different color. So let's click on the color, and uh, let's select the color that we want, the background. So that's two zero one. Uh, okay, so. Uh, let's probably change the color a little bit more to a little darker color. Yeah, that's looking good. That's fine. And just, you know, then press Ctrl A and we can center this horizontally and vertically. And uh, we're going to kind of move this down because obviously we want it to be, you know, like, like the placeholder card. And as you can see, the drop shadow is pretty high. So we're going to go and reduce down the drop shadow of this from 50 to a little bit less. And uh, then we're going to go and create a rectangle over here, just a very thin rectangle. Uh, something like that okay uh, it's pretty fine 
and uh, the width and the height so let's try to use down the height over here height over here to like four you know make it pretty small i don't want it to be too thick and fat right um i think that's fine and probably you can go ahead and change the color to a darker color of the same shade of the background oh a lighter color actually and as you can see we have this now you can also go and uh, set reduce down the opacity of this to suit your needs like again that's up to you so we'll go ahead and just place it perfectly right over there so that the right side is touching the right edge of the card all right and uh, you can go ahead and scale it and whatever you want but so i'm going to take the text tool and type in the text um that's the city where i live and put a comma and uh, india all right so we're going to select everything you know uh just highlight everything and then go and change the font so i'm going to probably choose a uh, typograph which is you know it's a pretty cool font so typograph uh light that's good and i'm going to select only the india and i'm going to go and set, uh, set this to from light to semi bold right semi bold and press Ctrl T to transform and then shrink it down pretty, you know, pretty low. And you can go ahead and just place it up, you know, right out there, you know, making it look, you know, really clean, very small. The objective is to be pretty minimalistic. Now the color, we're gonna change that to a slightly gray color, not a complete white color, um, you know, cause it's gonna smash your eyes if it's too bright. And I'm gonna make a copy of that uh, the, by pressing Control J on our keyboard or Command J if you're on a Mac, and I'm gonna bring it down and double click, and I'm gonna uh, just type in the, you know the temperature, so probably say 20 Celsius, and uh, the, uh, so the, I don't know what the the um, the I, the key, keyboard shortcut for uh, the degree is, so uh, I'm just gonna add that separately. So I'm just gonna move this into place, um, so you know it's probably the same distance from the line. Yeah, there you go. Just spacing out things perfectly. All right, uh, looks good. So we're gonna go and just grab a. Uh, let's see. We need the shape tool. So let's just go and just type in the letter O. Right, and we're gonna go and shrink it down. Uh, let's just go and move this, and that's gonna be our, you know, the the the, the degree symbol, twenty degrees Celsius. You know, just move it slightly into place. Place. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is select the, uh, you know, the text. Um, and we're gonna make a copy and bring it down so i just hold down alt and just drag and i'm gonna put in the date over here which is gonna be 28th may 2017. i know i kind of uh, recorded this later this tutorial pretty late and uh, probably gonna go and set this and just type in 8 uh 15 pm that's the time all right and we're gonna go and move this again properly and so it fits perfectly into place so i'm gonna go into here to the brush properties uh the properties of the shape and uh, just give a different color to the line so it's gonna be like a progress ball then hold ctrl t and then we're gonna come and you know zoom a little bit closer and then we're gonna shrink it down to whoops sorry not that uh yeah so we're gonna go and just shrink it down to you know somewhere like that so saying 20 percent and then we're gonna go and create a circle uh, as you can see over here and uh, just put in you know the circle right over there and we're gonna have a little bit of glow effect to this so let's go and choose uh, the the let's see the outer glow all right um, let's zoom a little bit closer so the blending mode I want to set this to overlay and set the opacity to a hundred uh, we're supposed to get a little bit of glow here but um let's see what's happening the size okay the size we want to pr probably keep that to probably three which is you know which is kind of fine um let's see i think i'm gonna go and uh size oh we're gonna set that to three there we go all right two three whatever it is the color we're gonna set this to a bright uh, green color Right, we can just color pick and the blending one i want to set it to normal and there we go we're going to have a little bit of glow over here all right that's good so i'm going to copy that color data and i'm going to come over to the ellipse go to the properties and i'm going to add the same color value to the circle as well there we go so it you know it kind of looks more brighter all right so that's that uh let's see what else we're going to do probably going to go and set the size to probably a little bit more something like eight um, the opacity 75 that's again up to you, all personal preferences uh, yeah um, everything looking good so we can select everything group them you know all this together and select everything and then just 
you know, just uh, uh, vertically align it so it fits in the center of the document, right? That's looking good. That's looking great. Uh, the rounded rectangle also going to add a little bit of drop shadow just for presentation purpose. So the same settings, I'm just going to stick with that. We're just going to clear it up for us. Um, yep, so that's pretty much it on how to create this UI design in Photoshop. I hope you guys learned something. Um, so if you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.